it's Bunny, and today I'm gonna do my December favorites video. <sighs> my go go juice gonna help me win. First of all, I'm gonna talk about something that is not my favorite, just so I can get all the negativity out right at the beginning. Did anyone else just cry actual tears at the iTunes update? As soon as my computer updated this thing, I was just like, uh, like I don't, and I even watched the tutorial. Just why? Just why? Why? No one knows. Also, random new product that I found. Comment down below and let me know if any of you guys have tried this. I found this while perusing Walmart today. It is a salon perfect set of eyelashes, but this is supposed to accentuate, in particular, blue and green colored eyeballs. I really want to know how this worked. Like, I can just imagine a room full of scientists, like a whole team, investigating and just gluing things to people's eyeballs to just be like, oh, that looks better. They even kind of look like they have like a reddish tint to them. It kind of freaks me out, but I thought I'd try it. So anyway, right on in into things that I actually do like for the monthly favorites. The very first little gadget that I absolutely adore, probably just like maybe my favorite thing of this month, is this strange little thing that I ordered from Japan. I got it off of a website called JBox, and they sell a lot of different like Japanese things like foods and I don't know, like anime things, if you know what any of that is. But this is a tiny little thing that you screw into the bottom of your iPhone so you can hang charms and doodaddies off of it. And I personally got this lanyard thing that has this little ring so you can like wear it around your finger. So if you're like out in public taking pictures of like your own pants or your shoes or something like that, and it's like, whoopsie, you don't like shatter your iPhone. But it also like clips onto a lanyard so that I can like texty wext out in public really quickly. I don't know, I think it was like $25 all in total. It's totally worth the money. This is on my iPhone 5. Do they only make it for iPhone 5? No. They also have it for iPhone 4S, 4, and I think even the 3G? 3S? Whatever that one was called. Moving right along. Next favorite that I've probably been using like, I don't know, like half of this month it seems is a recommendation rec recommendation recommendation that I got from my friend uh, Leanne and she's been using this powder I feel like forever she talks about it all the time it is the bare minerals well rusted powder and if you're kind of like self-conscious about dark circles and under eye puffiness bags whatever this works really good to cover up all of that stuff and a little little bit goes a long way like I feel like this will last me until the next time that they make some kind of prophecy that the world is going to end. Maybe that should be a monthly favorite for this month. We didn't all die, as the Mayans kind of predicted. I don't know. Next super, super favorite for this month. I did an entire separate review about this product, but it is the Sally Hansen Insta Salon Gel Strips. You can find these at Target and Ulta and at, maybe at drugstores. I'm really phobic of drugstores, so I wouldn't know. I have been rocking these leopard nails now probably like the entire month of December. I have not gotten sick of the whole leopard thing yet. I feel like December was like the month of the leopard. Like, can we just make that up as some kind of like astrological thing? <gasps> I feel like I'm suddenly becoming interested in astrology, but like not really, but really, but not really. I don't know. I'm kind of, I'm on the fence about it. This is my second application of these. I get asked a ton of questions about them on Instagram, stuff like that, because it seems like it's been the same set that I've had on all month. The more you practice with this little thing, the better you get at it. The first time that I did it, I don't think I sealed the gel top coat. Like, I don't think I put enough of the gel top coat on. So it only lasted me about a week and a half. But this is the second set that I've done, and this literally has been on for two weeks. There's very few signs of wear. Like, I feel like on the very top of the nail, and then I chipped a little bit on my thumb. But like, on a whole, like, I don't feel like that's enough for me to have to redo them or anything. So I definitely think that is an item that's totally worth you you guys' money. I will just tell you guys though, read the instructions carefully. You have to follow every single instruction because I feel really bad because a couple people said that they got it and that they put it on and that it didn't work for them, but I don't know why because like it just, I don't know, it works for me and all
all I do is follow the instructions exactly step by step but you buy the initial kit that's 30 bucks and then each of these refill little kits are like $13.99 I mean I guess that's kind of expensive for a nail product but I mean if you think about like going to the salon and getting your nails done like that's like what like 30 or 40 dollars so I don't know it's still like way cheaper and you get the fun of doing something yourself next thing that I'm absolutely crazy about and this is just absolutely perfect for the winter time and that is the Tarte Maracuja Lip Exfoliant and it comes in this tin. It is absolutely gorgeous packaging. I love it. It looks kind of like nature, natural, hippie kind of stuff. I have tried a couple other lip exfoliant things in the past but I don't know. A lot of them were too coarse for me. They didn't feel that great. This one, the exfoliant, you can't even really see it. I apply it with a q-tip so I don't continue contaminate the actual product but the exfoliant property in it is so fine that it still exfoliates and gets the job done but it's not like painful or harsh you don't want to like kiss your boyfriend with like nasty dry chapped lips so this solves that problem next thing that I found like I don't know a week or so ago is the Murad clarifying wipes for blemish prone skin they look much like those little makeup remover wipes that like a billion different brands make these are $18 for a pack of 30 so basically it's like you know an entire month's worth and I've been having some real trouble areas that you can't see right now because I actually took the time to really conceal stuff today plus the magic camera lighting and the magic camera so you can't really see the horror that is my face right now. I feel like they have started to help clear up the problem areas on my face. Murad is the miracle skin product in my opinion. It's the greatest thing. My acne used to be out of control until I got on the Murad regimen and now I'm just kind of always looking for different products in the blue line because that's usually like their acne stuff. I'm never disappointed and I'm always finding new things that I like. I know that this is kind Kind of like a little bit more of a splurgy kind of item but if you're having a really problem skin I would just say go for it maybe like find an Ulta coupon or something and then you can get them a little bit cheaper my next absolute out of control obsession I feel like these are the only pants that I want to wear lately if you are on my Instagram account you have probably seen each of these pants at least once if not twice so you guys may or may not know I'm a huge fan of Unif the clothing brand and they came out with this kind of newish style of pant called the axle pant Ah, I think I almost have every single color and style they make in this pant. They are so comfortable. They are so awesome looking. They're just very rock and roll. They're just they're just great in every single freaking way. So this is my newest pair, which is the Axel Leopards. They are velvet leopard print. So it just combines like two of my most favorite things. I love velvet. I love leopards. I love leopard velvet. So they kind of have like this stitched, I don't know, it's almost like segmented kind of knee area. Like a little bit of extra texture. It looks really cool. I love the zippers in the front. It just a little bit of extra bonus Jonas action going on. And then I have the axles in red velvet. I got these from Karma Loop. And then I have these which I have basically been living in all month which are, I call them the Morris and pants because I can. They're called like the axle leather or something but this is animal friendly leather. No animals were killed to make these so just extra extra goodness. And then uh, the other clothing item that I have to show you guys. This is literally one of the coolest dresses that I own and I tried to film an outfit of the day and I'm gonna try and go out and film it again but I filmed it on my new camera and I don't know what I'm doing with that camera so I don't know and now it's just been like too cold for me to live outside. This clothing company makes all the tour clothes for like Alice Cooper and Thin Lizzy and just like a bunch of other they're just they're just they're so rock and roll and I just I want to be a part of it all. It is a dress by Hazmat Designs. Got that little logo in it. But it's just basically like a little black 
dress, but the sleeves, ho bam so much fringe and I'm not even gonna be able to show it to you. I've literally like dreamed about owning a dress like this. Just sheer magic going on right here. Last clothing item are my tights from Romwe. I have been obsessed with this one pair in particular and it was out of stock but I think that they got some more in or are getting some more in. They have a really weird name called like the Angel Moon Baby or like something like really really kind of weird like that. They were in an outfit of the day, I guess like two weeks ago that I filmed, and they're the astrology kind of symbol tights, and I am extra excited because I'm a Leo, and Leo is on here twice. Just look at that. It, this almost looks like Grumpy Cat too, which just adds to the magic of the whole situation. See, Grumpy Cat? Grumpy Cat Leo. And then there's like a Leo on the foot part too, right down there. I love uh, tattoo tights lately. I've been kind of looking into getting some other pairs. So I'd appreciate comments down below of like other websites and stuff that sell tattoo tights as well besides Romwe. I know that the Swamp Family Store Envy site sells them now. The Jinx Me, the ones, the gun ones that are, you can't see because the doors are blocking your view. I know that they sell them, but I'm not sure who else sells them. I'm really excited about these though. I guess my other latest obsession for this month has been eBay. Do you have an eBay account yet? If you don't, don't get one, okay? Just because your bank account will thank you for not participating in the world of eBay. I've started like buying lots of old vintage rock t-shirts like that one that you see behind you and this one that's on my body but just like the amount of sleep that I've lost in these auctions not okay and just like the watching and the bidding and some people are really crazy charging like six hundred dollars for a t-shirt I'm like are you cereal we can't be friends I'm just gonna go back to bread next monthly favorite it's a bittersweet kind of favorite but do you guys remember that rant that I did about Estee Estee Lauder and the discontinuation of Estee perfume well I have somewhat of a solution I was contacted by Jennifer who works for Estee and just put that comic sans down okay because they did not send me this for free so before anybody just like has a moment just Okay. They did direct me to one of the company stores, company CECO, COO, that thing that all you guys were telling me about in the comments of my rant video. They have one of those that's two hours away from my house. I didn't even know. Jennifer, who works for Estee Lauder, was able to contact that store that's closest next to me. She was able to tell them to put five bottles on hold for me. Five bottles is all they have, so I bought all five bottles. So I just kind of am using it so sparingly because the five bottles that I bought are from the old batch. They did get back to me and tell me that they did indeed change the makeup of the fragrance. So there's no more Estee. This is like some kind of Twilight Zone thing. Like once this smell is gone, it's gone. I wish that I could find more cosmetic company stores because that's the only one that's like even remotely close to me. I would buy all of them from every cosmetic company store if I could, but they won't let me like order by phone or anything. So I don't know. Right now I have five bottles from batch A30. So it was a good year. Last monthly favorite was actually a monthly favorite a few months ago. It's a website called Shop Lately, but they've been getting a lot of new stores and different kind of inventory stuff like that. I'm really into a lot of the different like natural stone jewelry lately. One of my favorites is this little simple amethyst chunk bracelet. It's just silver chain and little chunks of amethyst. This piece, uh, forgive me, I don't remember what specific boutique this comes from. I'll tell you in the info box, but it's like this is some kind of rock that starts with the letter C, chloroplast there something awesome like that and I wore this like a ton at the beginning of December then these two pieces are from a boutique called Rockville Monroe and one is just a little container of amethyst crystals and then the other one is antique Swarovski crystal pieces just très elegant and then the last piece I know for a fact was in a monthly favorites before 
but I've really been wearing this ring every single day, so I'm gonna show it to you again, and it's still available. This little store on Shop Lately is called Our Family Jewels, and this is the Don't Thread On Me ring, and it's a little snake. Do you guys like my hair? I got it dyed and cut today. You probably can't tell though, because it looks, you know, exactly the same as it did like yesterday. Comment down below, let me know what you think about my monthly favorites. Also, feel free to leave a video response of your monthly favorites. I would love it if you would take a minute to subscribe, so just hit that button, give an alligator its wings, become a member of the Swamp Family. We have lots of fun around here. Also, if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyardgirl, or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at graveyardgirl. And I love you guys, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye!